I'm Sandy Greco. Welcome to my paint post studio. Uh, today um, I'm going to show you the proper way to use the Masterson's Day Wet Palette. Uh, I have been teaching, um, I have been painting and teaching decorative arts for 40 years now and this has, happens to be one of my most favorite tools. Um, what it does is it keeps your paint, there's a special sponge inside and a special paper. And it keeps your paints wet and workable um, throughout your painting project. So like if you haven't finished through the day and, uh, or even you've made mixes, you can preserve them on the Stay Wet palette. It's got a special sponge, special paper, and you just put it into your refrigerator and then later or next day or even a week from now you can take it out of the refrigerator and your paints will be nice and workable so it keeps your paints wet and workable until your project is completed okay so this is the handy stay wet palette so this size is 9 by 12 and it's probably the best size for use when you're going to a class um, students if they don't like the Stay Wet palette, I've heard a lot of um, a lot of people say that they're not um, comfortable with the Stay Wet palette or they don't like it. And the reason that they don't like it is because they've never been shown the proper way to use it. So today, that's what's going to be my job, is I am going to show you how to properly prepare and use your Andy Stay Wet palette. Okay, so now how does this all work? Well, when you purchase the Handy Stay Wet palette, it comes with a special sponge and only five of these uh, special palette paper sheets. So you think it's not going to last very long. So I'm here to show you how to properly prepare and maintain your palette for many, many, many uses. All right, so it doesn't, isn't a waste of money. When I when I initially get it ready, it takes the time to do it properly, and it should pre be prepared the night before a class or planning a project. So when you first go to your sink, you want to, you want to get the um, water as hot as you can. And then you're gonna take your paper, and the paper comes and it's got a little bit of sizing on it. So when the paper comes, you want to get that sizing off of it. So I want to use real hot water, and I'm going to lay it over the center divider of the sink, run the hot water on it, and then I have one of these, either um, these little scrubbies, I call them, like for, that you use for pots and pans, and don't, get, don't burn yourself, but you want to get it pretty hot. And then I take and I scrub the paper. And by scrubbing the paper, it's going to get that sizing off of it. And you want to do it on both sides. And it's real important to get this, this uh, paper really, really nice and wet. All right, so you're going to take the time to do that. And then take the bottom of your... Um, pellet here. Fill it up with the real hot water. Fill it up with the hot water. And let that sit like overnight or as long as you possibly can. Sponge. And you'll notice that on the sponge there's a smooth side and there is a waffly side. You don't want the waffly size side to the side that you're going to be putting the paint on. So I'm going to Take the sponge then, and I want to wet the sponge. It has sat overnight or for a good length of time. And I dampen the sponge. Then I'm going to turn it up and drain off all the excess water. As much as I can. If you have to, gently bring out the sponge. But don't get it um, too wrung out or too dry. Keep in mind that when you're using the Stay Wet palette, the moisture has to come from the bottom. It has to come from the sponge, uh, not on the paper. So now I've flipped it around, 
I have a smooth side next to the paper. I'm going to put it into the palette, smooth it down. Now you can see that now the paper looks somewhat transparent, right? So you almost want to take it and press it to adhere it to the sponge. And take out, I uh, take a um, dry paper towel, just kind of rub over the palette, over the paper. Because again, and I'm going to say this over and over again, we want the moisture to be coming from the bottom. You don't want the water to be on the top of the paper because it can dilute your paints too much and um, we don't want that to happen. So by this and now, this is your um, properly prepared palette and it's ready for you to go ahead and paint. Okay, so now you're ready to um, paint, but I just want to take you back a little bit. Um, when you are preparing like to go to a class, what you want to do is you, you want to get your palette prepared in this way. But what I do is I take and I put the paper on the bottom, turn the sponge upside down. And in order to keep this sponge and this paper all nice and wet, you want to keep it in the refrigerator. So you always keep your prepared palette in the refrigerator because the moisture from the refrigerator is going to keep everything nice and workable. So now if I'm going off to a class, I have the paper on the bottom, the sponge on the top, which is wet, everything is wet. I put my lid on and off I go to class. I would put it into like a Ziploc bag because uh, you don't want it to leak into your um, painting bag. So now I get to my class, I take off my lid and all I do is I flip over, just flip this over, sponge in the paper. Again, take my paper towel and making sure that there's no moisture on the top and just wipe it down. Make sure the paper is nice and stuck to the uh, sponge. And you can see again, you can see how it's nice and transparent. So you are ready to go. All right, now you just take your acrylic paints and you pour them right onto the paper. And you can see how nice they are here. And they will stay like that. They will stay like that all through your painting um, day. Uh, if you have a fan, if you have a fan or um, air conditioning sometimes or uh, in extreme heat, you're in a situation like that, what can happen sometimes is the paper will start drying around the outside edges. You just take like a little cup, again, this is with cold water now, cold water. You take a little cup and you can lift the corner of the sponge and you want to again put the water on the palette under the sponge because if you get too much water again you don't want it coming to the top of the paper you want to keep everything down the water coming from underneath okay so that's how you would prepare a new sheet of paper now, do you have to do this all the time? It sound, sounds like a big fuss and takes too much time. No, you do not. Once you've prepared that paper, what you do is you then just, um, you paint it all day. You're going to take your um, palette. Go back to this one. You're going to take your paints. You've painted all day. Everything is great. You're going to take your palette knife and scrape this paint off, put it into a paper towel. So you're going to put the paint in the paper towel. Now you see that you have your paper stained because you don't want that excess paints going down your drains and into your plumbing. So then again, I'm going to come over to the sink. I'm going to take the water 
take my, and I keep one of these uh, scrubbies specifically for my Stay Wet palette. And so then I'm going to scrub off the paper. Now you can see it's stained, right? Is that going to matter? No. It's not going to matter at all. It's clean. It's clean from paint. You can see this one. This one has been used many, many, many times. I use them for weeks. I've even used them for a month with the same paints on it. And you just keep cleaning off the paper, flipping it over, using the other side. You just keep flipping it and flipping it until you get it's so worn out that you get holes or what have you. And then that's the only time that you're going to have to prepare a new piece of paper and start again. But um, this way you can, it's, it's ready for continued uses. All right, in the same deal then, I keep it in my refrigerator, but I keep the paper on the bottom, the sponge, the wet sponge on the top, and then it's all, my palette is always ready to go. So just add a flick of the, opening the refrigerator, my palette is, is set and I can start my painting day. Um, now, sometimes, sometimes these uh, sponges might get a little musty or moldy or whatever. That's when you can just take them over to the sink, squirt in a little bit of uh, detergent, dish detergent, kind of just refreshing your sponge. Squeeze it out so most of the moisture is out. And then put it back into your palette and you're ready to go again. So now my lid goes on into the refrigerator, the excess paint off into the garbage. And we're ready for another day. Okay, I will tell you that the more you use this paper, stained or not, the more you use the paper, the better it gets. But say you're not going to be painting for a while. What you want to do is you want to um, let the paper, take the paper out, let it set to dry, and also take out your sponge and let it dry. Let it dry out. Then that's going to help to um, uh, prevent any of the smells or whatever. You don't need to uh, have it in the refrigerator if you're not going to be painting for a long time. You're going on vacation or something like that. All right, and this is why, too, you get these packs of papers. Like I told you, it comes with five sheets of paper. I paint every single day, and a pack of five sheets of paper has lasted me probably a year. All right, but you can buy, you can purchase the um, paper separately through Masterson's, sometimes at Michael's, and you can also purchase the um, sponges sponge that I showed you in the beginning. So you can purchase these separate. So if you do need extras, they're um, available for you. So thank you so much for joining me and learning about the Stay Wet palette. I hope it helped you and I hope you'll come again and join me again for some more of my videos. Um, that's my goal. My goal is to teach and make life a little easier for all us technical